Doctrine and Covenants, Section 70. <laughs> Revelation given through Joseph Smith the Prophet at Kirtland, Ohio, November 12, 1831. The history written by the Prophet states that four special conferences were held from the 1st to the 12th of November, inclusive. In the last of these assemblies, the great importance of the Book of Commandments, later called the Doctrine and Covenants, was considered and the prophet refers to it as being the foundation of the church in these last days and a benefit to the world, showing that the keys of the mysteries of the kingdom of our Savior are again entrusted to man. Behold and hearken, O ye inhabitants of Zion and all ye people of my church who are afar off, and hear the word of the Lord which I give unto my servant Joseph Smith, Jr., and also unto my servant Martin Harris, and also unto my servant Oliver Cowdery, and also unto my servant John Whitmer, and also unto my servant Sidney Rigdon, and also unto my servant William W. Phelps, by the way of commandment unto them. For I give unto them a commandment, wherefore hearken and hear, for thus saith the Lord unto them, I the Lord have appointed them and ordained them to be stewards over the revelations and commandments, which I have given unto them, and which I shall hereafter give unto them. And an account of this stewardship will I require of them in the day of judgment. Wherefore, I have appointed unto them, and this is their business in the church of God, to manage them and the concerns thereof, yea, the benefits thereof. Wherefore, a commandment I give unto them, that they shall not give these things unto the church, neither unto the world. Nevertheless, inasmuch as they receive more than is needful for their necessities and their wants, it shall be given unto the, my storehouse, and the benefits shall be consecrated unto the inhabitants of Zion and unto their generations, inasmuch as they become heirs according to the laws of the kingdom. Behold, this is what the Lord requires of every man, in his stewardship, even as I, the Lord, have appointed or shall hereafter appoint unto any man. And behold, none are exempt from this law who belong to the church of the living God. Yea, neither the bishop, neither the agent who keepeth the Lord's storehouse, neither him who was appointed in a stewardship over temporal things, he who was appointed to administer spiritual things, the same is worthy of his hire, even as those who are appointed to a stewardship to administer in temporal things, yea, even more abundantly, which abundance is multiplied unto me, unto them through the manifestations of the Spirit. Nevertheless, in your temporal things you shall be equal, and this not grudgingly, Otherwise, the abundance of the manifestations of the Spirit shall be withheld. Now this commandment I give unto my servants for their benefit while they remain, for the manifestation of my blessings upon their heads, and for the, a reward of their diligence, and for their security, for food and for raiment, for an inheritance, for houses and for lands, in whatsoever circumstances I, the Lord, shall place them and whithersoever I, the Lord, shall send them. For they have been faithful over many things, and have done well inasmuch as they have not sinned. Behold, I, the Lord, am merciful, and will bless them. And they shall enter into the joy of these things. Even so, amen.